Welcome back to Linda's Pantry. Today I've got both smokers out. Well, I've got more than two, but I've got two of my smokers out. I've got my Traeger Grill, which also is a smoker, and I've got my Big Chief smoker out. And we're going to smoke some shrimp that is going to go inside a delicious stuffed up bell pepper, and then we're going to smoke the peppers. So I hope this inspires you to stay with me and uh, hopefully I can figure out a name for this. But this is one of our favorite recipes that I do. And so smoked stuffed bell peppers are what's on the menu tonight with a salad. And uh, if it does inspire you, go down in the about section below and check out all the links I've left for you. I've got my mailing address, I've got my Wild Tree website where you can shop for all organic natural products or you can look into becoming a rep for $49. You get $263 worth of product, and uh, then from then on you get 20% off for life. So you don't have to sell Wild Tree if you don't want to. Anyway, um, you can also go over and like my Facebook page and join in on the conversation. And if you make these, go post a picture for us. Okay guys, let's go do these delicious smoky shrimp stuffed bell peppers because they're fabulous. Come on. What I've got here is my ingredients. I've got some cilantro, a couple of diced jalapenos. I've got a little bit of carrot, about a half a carrot chopped up. Some garlic and red onion and pineapple. And we're gonna have sweet and spicy and delicious. Some spices over here as well as some cheese. I've also got my uh, smoked or my shrimp are out on the smoker right now. So I'm going to get this all prepped, see if they're done enough to come in. I wanted to get some real good smoke on them. So in the inside of this mixture, we've got that smoky shrimp going on. And then we're going to smoke these on the Traeger. My shrimp are on my um, little chief electric smoker. So uh, it gets a really intense depth of smoke to it where the Traeger is real subtle. So I think it'll be a good combination. I also got some ribs out there I can't wait for. But what I'm gonna do is we're gonna season up our rice here. I've got some brown rice cooked off. And I'm gonna put a healthy teaspoon of Wild Trees fajita seasoning, which is delicious. I might actually do, I'm gonna do two teaspoons. There we go. And then, got some salt. Um, there's not much salt in the fajita seasoning. And we want about a half a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. And get all of our ingredients in the bowl. And then we can get to mixing that up. Go check on our shrimp. And um, you know, you, you can do any kind of meat you want. I'm going to save the rings for some tops, I think. Make them pretty. I was going to do six whole bell peppers, but one of them um, got dropped and it cracked it in the wrong place. So I'll save that one for salads. So we've got our mixture, and these peppers are beautiful. There's some that I'm, because they're small, I'm leaving them whole and we'll stuff them that way. And then we've got these other bigger ones that I'm uh, cut in half. And I love doing it this way because it just makes for a cool presentation. And then if you want a little bit of added kick, I'm going to put a couple little pinches of cayenne pepper. Not a couple, but one pinch of cayenne pepper. Let's put it that way. And we'll get this mixed up and see what we have. And then we'll go out and see if our shrimp is ready. I'm super excited for this. And you just want to really get it all incorporated. Um, kind of, uh, this is ready cooked organic brown rice that I get at Costco. And um, so it kind of, you have to break it apart a little bit because it, it's a little sticky. And at some point, I'm going to have to get in here with my hands, so, which is fine. And I really, when I'm doing stuff like this, I look for color. And am I happy with the color pop? And I think I am. I definitely see that it's going to have to be mixed up better uh, by hand, but that's, that's okay. So I'm going to add some cheese to this. And you guys are going to go, 
the cheese and seafood don't mix, but they do in the right application. So we're going to put down about three-fourths of a cup of cheese. And we'll be back when we've got um, some shrimp to cut up. Because I'm going to cut those into big, chunky pieces to put in the mixture. And then we'll stuff our peppers and okay, get them on the Okay, so trigger. I've got my shrimp. And this was two pounds of 16, 20 pound count shrimp. And so I've got about a pound. And I cut them in pretty good sized pieces, as you can see. I mean, and these are not cooked all the way through. This, I smoke this to get some flavor in there. I don't want them to get rubbery. If I completed them on the smoker, then in here, they would tend to get rubbery on me and I don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all that chunked up shrimp in here. And I'm gonna finish these. I'm preheating the Traeger for smoke and I'm gonna finish these on the Traeger and they'll be done when dinner gets done. The Traeger runs about 225. I'm not sure what the Big Chief's running, but at the rate we're going, I don't think it's gonna be soon enough. So, that being said, we've got this huge batch of mix. And I decided that I wanted a little more, I kinda of took a taste before I put the shrimp in. I definitely have enough heat in there and um, spice that way, but I think I want some teriyaki. So I've got a low sodium, 47%. So about a quarter cup of teriyaki sauce. I think we'll just do the trick. So we're going to have this smoky, almost Hawaiian flare uh, stuffed smoked shrimp stuffed red peppers. Oh my gosh. And that cheese will work as a binder in here, but and you could make this vegetarian, totally just make it a vegetarian dish. And now we're gonna stuff these peppers and on the halved ones, you're just gonna really pack it in there as good as you can. Make sure you get plenty of shrimp in there. And this should be, I mean, this is more than enough for a serving. And I kinda like to mound it up. Um, Mound it up, put a jalapeno uh, ring on there so everybody knows, ooh, it might be warm in there. Okay, so I've got all of these stuffed and there's seven. There's four halves and three whole ones that are smaller. I'm also, I had to cut an extra ring so I, I have this um, jalapeno. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke that on the grill as well. And we've got our shrimp that are gonna go back out there on the smoker and um, we're gonna get to cooking these. This is gonna go low and slow for probably two hours on the Traeger on smoke. And if I uh, don't feel like it's going fast enough, I'll go ahead and put it on the medium heat um, just to finish them off. But I don't blanch my peppers. I, I cannot, I don't like um, soggy peppers and so, I do them raw, and I've never, ever had a complaint. My family loves these. My husband just came in and said, oh, my gosh, is that what okay, I think it so is? Okay, so I got the Big Chief going over on the left. I got the Traeger getting ready to put out some smoke on the right. And I want to show you. I've got everything back in. So let's take a look at what's in here. Ah, yum. Okay. So, and to, you know, I cleaned the Traeger out today. It's so easy to take care of. I mean, literally, cook after cook, and you have a handful, a half a cup of ashes. So it's really easy. So we're going to let this smoke for a couple hours, and I'll bring you back when we're uh, taking a taste test or something exciting happens. These were on the smoker for two hours, and then on the Traeger for another about 30 minutes till everything is cooked through. And I've got smoked shrimp on a beautiful green salad. Uh, I made a kind of a Caesar dressing for this and maybe I'll share that recipe with you at, at some other point. But then I have this beautiful stuffed red bell pepper and it's stuffed with those smoked shrimp. Oh, and I, I see a piece of shrimp right there. And brown rice and veggies. So let me get a bite of that really quick. My husband is chomping at the bit to eat. 
I like the fact that my peppers still have some bite to them and uh, we are, you know, we're not getting a mushy pepper. There's nothing worse. I hate mushy peppers. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. All that teriyaki and the spice comes through so big. It's absolutely fantastic. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Unbelievably delicious. I, I truly hope that this inspires you to try something like this, however you can do it. Uh, it's fantastic. We love smoked shrimp. This is one of those smoked shrimp. And they do get a little um, harder than, you know, they're not soft succulent, but they're so good. It's such a great change. It's great on a salad and it's great in these bell peppers. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. I want to have like four more, but oh, actually, I just want to eat the whole thing right now. But I need to let you go. My husband's hungry. I'm hungry. And this was a fantastic cook. It just came out exactly how I wanted it. And um, I'll be sharing this recipe and completion with you here very, very soon. And I hope it inspires you to try to do this on your own. As always, guys, go check out all the links. Hit thumbs up. Hey, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. And I'll see you next time with another delicious idea for your pantry or your kitchen or your garden. Oh, I've got so much stuff coming up. So can't wait to see you next time. Bye, guys. God bless.